Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. We have tons of rain, tons of wind. I am here with YouTube, and today we're going to be talking about everything that's going on. That's going to be the Igion rain. That's going to be new EX units, and it's going to be the incredible new Esper, whose name I'm going to nail on the first try, Alophagalus. Let's go ahead and dig in. And start off by talking about the Igion raid. Now, the Igion raid is not going to be the most important raid of the year. Basically, the gear that drops is going to be Soryu's armor, which is a pretty hefty HP and defense kit type of armor, but it's only good for spear wielding characters. So you're not going to need to make five of these. You maybe make one. If you're like me though, you're gonna spend a lot of your time in the Igion raid farming for a second diamond coat because both diamond coat and platinum robe are going to be available this round. So you are gonna be able to go for them instead. Now the Soryu's armor is unique in that it does give Berserk 50% resistance and Charm 50% resistance for three turns for self. Now this might not seem very good, uh, particularly since this kind of these effects kind of land a little bit later, but I think it's one of those things where, especially in PVE situations, where maybe you're up against a Zazan that can charm you immediately, like in tower, you're going to be able to stack this on a unit who maybe already has charm resistance, and you're gonna be able to wiggle your way through that. In terms of the bonus units for the event, uh, of course we have Oberon Hindler, uh, Glacella and Frederica Halloween version are both the large bonuses. Uh, we have Eileen, Lamaiga, Little Leela, and Ryu, uh, the Halloween versions, as the medium bonuses. And then we have Adelard, Salir, Krace, Ravis, and Naya. Uh, of course, Adelard, Salir, and Naya are all getting their EX versions this update. Uh, and we'll talk about those EX upgrades here in just a little bit. There are some vision card upgrades as well that you can use. Uh, you can use Alophagalus as a large bonus or the Halloween Monsters vision card as a large bonus. You also have access to Exorcist, Dreams of Heroism, or Clairvoyant Astrologer as a medium bonus. And you can also use Ochu, Malevolent Legendary Beast Behemoth, or Luminous Serpent White Dragon as a small bonus. And Luminous Serpent White Dragon is a vision card you're going to get by getting to the fifth level of the raid. Uh, it's going to be an Esper as well, and it's going to be pretty cool, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about that since we are kind of on the Esper train right now. We'll also talk about Alophagalus. Um, But let's talk about the Luminous Serpent. Let's talk about the uh, Snake Vision card here. It is gonna come in in HP 220, Attack 74, Magic 82, and Dexterity 45. It's basically, a way to think about it is like a lighter version of the Scion vision card. Uh, it's gonna give magic up 15% for the individual light unit. It's gonna give accuracy up 15 for that unit. Party wide, it's going to give dark resistance 15% and critical hit rate plus nine. And party wide for light units, it's going to give HP plus 15%. So it's not the strongest vision card in the world. This is a MR vision card but it's going to be very good and it'll definitely be something you wanna have in your kit. In terms of the Esper, uh, he does come in as a three-star Esper with 20% stun resistance, one of the few Espers with actual stun resistance. He has attack 46, magic 112, agility 15, so he's kind of a little bit all over the board. In terms of his skill tree though, he does get increased TP, increased magic, slash resistance, dark killer, magic attack, Pierce resistance, critical damage, and dragon killer. He's gonna be really good for magic-based units. Uh, pretty much what he is missing though is that specific elemental attack up. Uh, he's gonna be really good for healers uh, because he has so much raw magic up percentage. If you're a newer player and maybe a newer healing character, um, this dragon's gonna be really good for you. Now, the other vision card that's coming out and the other Esper, which everybody's pretty much waiting for, is gonna be Alophagalus. Now, Alophagalus is one of the best vision cards and one of the best Espers in the game. Uh, a lot of people are asking if he'll be obtainable with a 2K paid Vizzy or step up, and that's not the case. Uh, the Espers usually only have the 10K step up, so since he is an Esper, he is gonna be the 10K step up, not the 2K paid. 
Uh, the primary stats on his Esper are going to be 322 HP, 147 attack, and agility 3. Very good stat for, like, stat baseline. For the individual Earth unit, it's going to have Man Eater plus 10, HP plus 5%. Uh, Party-wide, it's going to give single hit resistance plus 20, and agility plus 8%. So not only are you getting that single hit resistance, you're also getting agility up party-wide. And he's going to give, once the VC is maxed out, Earth Attack up 35, which is going to be very powerful as well. In addition to all of this, he does come as one of the best espers in the game. Uh, he has Agility 19, which is crazy. The only other espers that have Agility that high are going to be Odin and Bahamut. He has Attack 103, HP 1300, and he has Disable Resistance of 25%, which is absolutely relevant. Along with all of this in his skill tree, he does have Attack Plus, Earth attack up, Pierce attack up. He has Nether Beast Killer, so he's going to be great for any type of an Esper trial. Missile resistance, critical damage. He's got it all. He's going to be an Esper that is very utilizable for almost any Earth unit in the game, and you're going to want to use him. Now, we did get three units that got their upgrades. We got Salir, Adelard, and Naya, who also got their EXs. Uh, Salir's EX abilities, you know, are pretty good. Uh, she got an upgrade to magic power up level one in her passive, which will give her magic resistance penetration plus 40. She also got an upgrade in her kit to flare, uh, and it's going to be flare seal is what it's called. Uh, so it's going to be a 322% damage, which is what it's always been. Uh, and then it's going to seal 100% counter for three turns to target. No increased range, uh, no increased casting time. And then her job level 25 ability is going to be 185%, uh, very high range, uh, castable lightning attack, which decreases single target resistance 30 for three turns to target. So she's going to get some very cool mage-ish things. I don't think it's going to make her incredibly relevant, uh, but it's pretty cool. It's not, it's not crazy. For Adelard, we do have an upgrade to initial AP up level one. Uh, his initial AP up is going to be come Crimson Ban, which is initial AP up 30 instead of the original 15, and it's going to increase magic 30% for self. We're also going to see an upgrade to his Jamming Thrust to become Seal Thrust, which will reduce counter chance 100 for three turns to target. Uh, of course, it still has the Cancel Ability activation. Finally, his job level 25 is going to be Pyraga Demon, which decreases magic attack 40 for three turns to target and deals 185% modifier attack. This is castable, it's not an instant cast. I think this will make him a little relevant against kind of magic casting units. Not only does he have access to the jamming thrust and the counter reduction, but he is gonna get that Fyraga in the base stat increases, which will make him a little bit more relevant. Naya, Naya getting her EX. Naya is nothing special, but she gets one very unique thing. She gets an upgrade to Kiraga to give CT to allies. Uh, she gets an upgrade to regen, uh, which will, if I'm reading this right, just increases the range and makes it like a castable range attack. Kiraga also gets an increase in range. But what's gimmicky and kind of new for Naya is she is gonna have the ability to put Reflect on an ally for three turns and increase healing power 30 for three turns to self. So if you are interested in that kind of meta shenanigans reflect which maybe in pve it'll be worth something you could invest in her i honestly like naya i mean nobody ever uses her so it's kind of like why bother <laughs> finally we do have the standard information uh that did come out for the week uh, that's going to be all the campaigns uh, we're going to get our standard login bonus for 2100 Vizior, uh, 300 NRG campaign for 900 NRG daily. Uh, we're going to get the guild gift campaign, friend gift campaign. Uh, we're going to get a new story, so it's going to be part two, chapter three, scene one. And we're going to get armor accessory ninja book for the secret book reward quest. Now, that about covers it for everything that is coming out this week. We kind of gave you a brief summary of all of the units and their upgrades. Hopefully you guys like this new style of video. 
Uh, but let me know. Let me know what you guys think down below. If it's too long, if you want the news, just kind of traditional like we've always done it. Um, if you guys want to support me, you can always use my affiliate link, dig.gs slash offer or dig.gs slash coins. And have a great rest of your day.